Hey, today we're going to take apart a Gen 3 roller lifter for a little upgrade. First step is, of course, uh, soaking it probably overnight in mineral spirits or paint thinner or anything you can think of to break up the grease and grime. Next step is a little clip here. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. We're going to take a small screwdriver, pop the edges of that clip out. A little stubborn because it is pressure. There we go. Maybe. There we go. See, it's a nice square shape. If it's clean, it'll pop apart just like it did. First piece. Then there's a disc, and there's the middle part. And inside in the bottom is the spring that we're going to upgrade. And change that out with the LT1 spring. Also, ball and check valve, there's a little piece right here. Taking a grip on out with some needle nose. Just able to work it out. It's a good idea to clean these while you got them apart. There's the cap. There's the ball. You can see there's all kinds of crud down in there. We'll get that all cleaned up and we will reassemble it in the next step. All right, so you got your roller lifter apart. We're gonna put it back together now with the upgraded parts. First things first, take your middle section, make sure it's all nice and clean. So little cat does have a spring in there. Take your ball, drop it right down inside. See the little hole it sits in. This little cap goes on straight. Down. It sits in there good. Double check your ball valve. Take a needle and a little pick and push it. Make sure it's seated right. It looks good. Set in your LT1 spring. Get the whole assembly and go in like this. It sits in there. Drop in your disc and then your cup. Make sure it moves freely. And I use a valve spring compressor to put these back together. It makes it really, really easy. Kind of set it in. Clamp it down. Drop in your clip. Release it. And there you go, reassembled a Gen 3 roller lifter. Nice and clean, ready for the high RPMs.